Hello students, I welcome you all in the next lecture of Mathematics 1. We are revising chapter number 2 quadratic equations and in that we are solving practice set 2.5. From that only question number 7 is remaining. So let us discuss that question number 7 which is having two sub questions and these are important questions from the purpose of exam. Okay. So here what is the question asked please see and accordingly you have to decide what you have to do. The roots of each of the following quadratic equations are real and equal find k. So here you will find that in coefficients the unknown k is present in both the questions which we need to find out. So here since it is told that real and equal roots are there we have to think of nature of roots. And in case of nature of roots, we find the discriminant that is delta. And depending upon the value of discriminant delta, we decide that what is the nature of the roots of the given quadratic equation. There we have three possibilities. If you can recall in the previous lecture, I have discussed that delta that is discriminant b square minus 4ac, it can be equal to 0. So, when delta is equal to 0, that time the roots of the equations are real and equal. Then, second thing is what delta is positive, that means greater than 0, that time the roots are real and unequal. And third possibility, delta is negative, that means delta is less than 0. Always the discriminant, it appears under root, that means the Discriminant gives us the perfect square there or the square number it gives us. But we have studied that square cannot be negative. So if the discriminant is coming negative, then the equation is not having real roots. Okay. So these three possibilities are there and according to that we can decide the nature of the roots. So here the nature is given real and equal. So immediately it should strike to your mind that since the equation has real and equal roots, the value of delta that is discriminant b square minus 4ac is 0. Okay, that means here you have to find out discriminant and you need to write down equal to 0 and then solve to find the value of k. Okay, so let us start solving question number 1. 3y square plus ky plus 12 is equal to 0. We need to find delta where we have the values of a, b and c. So immediately we need to compare this equation with the standard form and we have to write down values of a, b, c. So we are going to write comparing the above equation with the standard form a y square plus b y plus c is equal to 0. As I have told you here you can use the variable x also because that is a standard form. So not uh, necessary that here it is y is there so you should also use y. You can write x also. So when we compare these two, what we are going to get a is equal to 3, b is equal to k and c is equal to 12. So write it down. a is equal to 3, b is equal to k and c is equal to 12. Then we have to find out discriminant that is delta which is equal to 0. So for first of all let us find out the discriminant. Okay, delta is equal to b square minus 4ac. So k square minus 4 into 3 into 12. So the value of delta is k square minus 144. Here I have found out delta first and afterwards I am going to make use of condition. If you want in the beginning also you can write down the condition and here only in front of it you can write down equal to 0. It is also possible. Okay. So here you can change that steps but here writing this statement is very very important that the roots are real and equal. The roots of the quadratic equation are real and equal and therefore delta is equal to 0. Why you are writing it is equal to 0? You need to give justification for your statement. So you need to write down it from question that it is given to us that the equation is having real and equal roots that is why we can write down delta is equal to 0. So from this we can write down k square minus 144 is equal to 0. 
Now this you can solve in two different ways. You can take 144 this side and you can write down k square is equal to 144 and then you can write down plus or minus 12. Or here you can factorize because it is of type a square minus b square. So you can factorize as a plus b and a minus b. That is k plus 12 and k minus 12 and then you can go for either or. Okay, so any method we will do. So here k square is equal to 144 written. So, k is equal to plus or minus 12. This is important. Every square has two roots. One is positive and other is negative. So, if you are not writing this plus or minus, you are going to lose the marks. Okay. So, here value of k is 12. Now, if this k is present here in place of a, then you need to check the condition. You know that in case of quadratic equation, A cannot be 0. We have seen the standard form. AX square plus BX plus C is equal to 0. Where ABC are real numbers, but A cannot be 0. So, if A is appearing in the first place, you need to check it. Okay. So, here it is appearing in the second place. That is B's place. So, there is no need of checking. But final answer, you can write. By writing it separately, therefore k is equal to 12 or k is equal to minus 12. Okay, I hope you must have understood this. Those who want to copy, they can copy down by pausing the video. Now I will not give time to write since it's a revision. Already we have written this previously. So if you want, you can pause the video, you can write it and then you can start the video again. Let us go further. Now I am discussing question number 2 because it is little bit different. See. You can find that it is not in the standard form. So, I am discussing question number 2 also. So, let us go towards question number 2. Kx inside the bracket x minus 2 is equal, uh, sorry, plus 6 is equal to 0. This is the question. Now, first of all, as I have told you so many times, if the brackets are given in the question, our first step is to open the bracket. You need to open the bracket. So, all of you, please expand it. So, how it will be kx into x, you are going to get kx square minus 2kx plus 6 is equal to 0. So, write down that state. kx square minus 2kx plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, you will find that this is in standard form. That is x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, immediately our next step is to be comparing with the standard form. We get a is equal to k b is equal to minus 2k please write it properly along with sign and c is equal to 6 okay so this way you can write down values of a b and c now as i have told you in the previous sum that if k is appearing in place of a you need to check finally because if a is 0 then that value of k we are going to discard we are not going to consider here so, this thing you have to take in mind. That is why I am discussing this second one. Now, next thing is to find out discriminant. So, find out discriminant delta. That is B square minus 4AC. So, if you have more than one term here, then always write in bracket because we are squaring all the terms. Okay. If you are not writing here the bracket, then the meaning is going to change. It is minus 2K square. You will read it as minus 2K square. But it is minus 2k the whole square. We are going to square each and every term here. Minus 2 also and k also. Minus 4 into value of a again it is k. And here again value of c is 6. So we have substituted the values. So here k appears more than at more than one place. It is appearing at two places. Okay. So it is not that simple. So try to understand it. So, minus 2k the whole square. Minus 2 square is plus 4 and k square. Square is never negative. Don't write minus sign here. And 4, 6 are 24k. So, we got this as delta. Then you write down the condition. Since the equation has real and equal roots, delta must be 0 or delta is equal to 0. And therefore, 4, 4k square minus 24k is equal to 0. Now, here... You can find out that 4 is common and k is common. Okay, so, but while taking out common, we are going to take out 
here whatever possible that is the highest number we are going to take so take out 4k common and you will get k minus 6 in the bracket now here we can divide both the places by 4 so we are going to get here or you can uh, say, simply write down this first term is equal to 0 or second term is equal to 0 or first you can divide by 4 then you will get k into k minus 6 is equal to 0 then you can write k is equal to 0 and k minus 6 is equal to 0. So, simply here 4k is equal to 0 is taken because this is a and this is b. You know that if a into b is equal to 0, then either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. So, either or is written. So, from that we got two values k is equal to 0 or k is equal to 6. See, this minus 6 is shifted to right hand side. So, k is equal to plus 6. So, got the values but as I have said if k is appearing in place of a then we have to check whether for any value a is becoming 0. Okay, so here you can see that a is equal to k. So, if we put here k is equal to 0 then a is going to become 0. So, this value of k will not help us. So, you need to write down as a statement that as a is equal to k and in quadratic equation a cannot be 0, then k cannot be 0. Therefore, the correct value of k is what? 6. In the previous question, both the values were considered because k appeared in place of b. It did not appear in place of a. So, but whenever it is appearing in place of a, always check this. Okay, that you have to check it that a should not be equal to 0. See this final step now it carries one mark here. So you need to write it even though you have solved it correctly up to this. If you are not justifying this or if you are not verifying this you will lose your mark. Okay. So when to verify I told you that if A is K is appearing or unknown is appearing in place of A then you have to go for verification. So always keep this thing in mind. These small small things they matter a lot. Let us go further now. So, here with this we have come to an end with practice set 2.5. Now, let us move towards the next topic that is application of quadratic equations. Application means word problems. So, here we are going to start with practice set 2.6. As I have told you that the word problems most probably they will appear in question number 4 for 4 marks. Then after reading the question, you need to decide that how we are going to solve it. We are going to use two variables as from first chapter or we are going to use one variable. So, I have given you the hints also how to decide here. Generally, whenever the quadratic equation is there, they uh, use the words like product and all. And generally, you will find that here only one condition is given. But in case of the equations in two variables, Two conditions are given. So, try to understand. Okay. So, let us start with the first problem here which is very simple. Such simple problems they can appear in question number 2 also for 2 marks. Okay. So, first question here. Product of Pragati's age 2 years hence and 3 years, 2 years ago I am sorry and 3 years hence is 84. Find her present age. Okay, so here also the one more thing is that only one thing you need to find here. In case of equation in two variables, generally we need to find two things. In rare cases, we have to find one thing there. But here generally they are asking for only one thing here that is one quantity. So here we have to find our present age. As I have told you, read the question once. If you don't understand it, read it twice. And decide what to do. Where to assign the unknown variable. And so many times I told you that always take help of the final statement. To decide what you are going to assign as variable x. So here we have to find out the present age. Present age of Pragati. That we are going to take as x. So our first statement is what? Let the present age of Pragati be x years. Please take a note that writing unit is very very important. 
if it is age write down years if it is distance write down kilometers or meters whatever provided there but writing unit is important here or it is compulsory it is needed so her percentage we are taking as x then in the condition you are provided with the age 2 years ago and 3 years hence means 2 years ago means what before 2 years so to find the age you need to subtract 2 here and 3 years hence means what after 3 years so you need to add 3 so how we are going to find those ages Pragati's age 2 years ago is x minus 2 years whenever the word ago or before comes you need to subtract it okay because her age is going to be less than the present age. So less word then minus sign comes. So here x minus 2. And 3 years hence means after 3 years. So the age is x plus 3. So we got these two ages. But see the condition. According to the given condition. Product of these two is 84. Means for product of this quantity. x minus 2 and x plus 3 is 84 product means we have to write down this quantity into this quantity so write down according to the given condition x minus 2 into x plus 3 is equal to 84 now we need to find the quadratic equation so please expand the brackets and find the quadratic equation because whenever we want to solve it whether by factorization or by formula method we need there the standard form that is x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, always we have to convert it to the standard form. So, let us open the bracket here. So, see how to open it. First term from the first bracket and second bracket is written as it is. Then second term here minus 2 and second bracket is written as it is. It is equal to 84. Okay, you can ignore this step also directly also you can go for multiplication like this. See, x into x, x square. x into plus 3, plus 3x. Minus 2 into x, minus 2x. And minus 2 into plus 3, minus 6 is equal to 84. Now see, these two are like terms. So, plus 3 minus 2x, we are going to get only x. And this 84 also we need to shift to LHS because our standard form is what? x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. That means all the terms on LHS and 0 on RHS. So do the necessary changes here. See, x square plus x as I have said answer of this. Minus 6 as it is and this plus 84 is shifted to LHS. So became minus 84 is equal to 0. Correct? So, the standard form we got as x square plus x minus 90 is equal to 0. See, minus 6 minus 84. Both of them are having the same sign. So, you are going to add the numbers and you are going to give the same sign. So, x square plus x minus 90 is equal to 0. So, quadratic equation is obtained and then here you have to solve it. You have to solve it by using factorization method. First of all, you are going to think of factorization method only because that is simple. If not possible by factorization, then you can go for formula method. So, here we need to find two numbers whose multiplication is 90 and difference is 1. I told you that whenever the sign of the last term is negative, you are going to think of difference. So, two terms or two numbers whose multiplication is 90 and difference is 1. Very easy to understand. 10 nines are 10 into 9, 90 and here 10 minus 9 is 1. Now, since here these two are having opposite signs, we need to decide the sign of a bigger number. Okay. So, that for that purpose, you can see the middle term sign that is positive. So, the bigger number will having will have the plus sign or positive sign. So, the numbers are plus 10 and minus 9. Okay. So, split the middle term as plus 10 and minus 9. Okay. So, x square plus 10x minus 9x minus 90 is equal to 0. 
so splitting is done now the next step is to take out common so here you can see that x is common and here you can see that minus 9 is common minus sign is also there and 90 is divisible by 9 so minus 9 we are going to take out common so let us write down that x x is taken out common so from x square x is left out and from here when x is taken out common plus 10 is left out x inside the bracket x plus 10 and here minus 9 we are taking out common so inside the bracket the signs are going to change both are going to become positive so x plus 10 here also then the in the next step we are going to get the factors they are what x plus 10 and x minus 9 okay that is equal to 0 then we have to go for either or that means either x plus 10 is equal to 0 or x minus 9 is equal to 0 and from that we will get two values x is equal to minus 10 and x is equal to plus 9 okay now two values are given we have to check for both that both the values are acceptable or we need to deny any value or we need to discard any value so this is age related problem so h cannot be negative and therefore x cannot be equal to minus 10 so x should be positive so x is equal to 9 so write down the reason here h cannot be negative and therefore x cannot be equal to minus 10 and therefore value of x is 9 and then we need to find out or write down the final answer which is asked to us that pragat is present age so our final answer should be as a statement in case of word problem so write down the final answer therefore the present age of pragati is 9 years correct this way you are going to solve the question so this was easy question it can appear for 2 marks, it can appear for 3 marks, okay. But if you read it properly, if you frame the equation correctly, then you are going to get the correct answer, okay. I hope you must have understood this simple question. Now let us go towards next question. Question number 2. The sum of squares of 2 consecutive natural numbers is 244. Find the numbers. This statement is wrong. Here, you need to have one extra word that the sum of squares of two consecutive even natural numbers okay so you write down the corrected statement the sum of squares of two consecutive even natural numbers is 244 find the numbers if you are taking two consecutive numbers you are not going to get the answer so please make a, ch a change write down the corrected statement here you have to insert the word even even natural numbers okay so this is a printing mistake in old textbooks in new textbook might be might it be corrected but many of you are having old textbooks so you have to take a note of this change so to start solving here see the sum of squares of two consecutive even natural numbers is 244 only one condition is given and find the numbers so clearly you can understand that here you have to use only one variable. Second condition is not given. So you cannot write down one variable in the form of other. So here sum of squares of two consecutive even natural numbers. Consecutive even numbers. See the natural numbers are what 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. But when we think of even numbers, they are about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. And the difference between them is always 2. So, if the first number we are taking as x, the next number has to be x plus 2. So, write down that as the first statement that let the two consecutive even natural numbers be x and x plus 2. Since they are even, you have to write down x and x plus 2. If the word odd comes, then also, you are, then also you are going to use x and x plus 2 because they differ by 2. Difference between them is 2. So if the first number is x, the next number has to be x plus 2. And only consecutive natural numbers word if it's coming, then you will write, in, uh, you are going to write x and x plus 1. Okay, but since here printing mistake is there, take note of this. 
So here the two numbers we are taking as x and x plus 2. Now make use of the condition. The sum of squares of these two means what? Square of the first number plus square of the second number is equal to 244. So write down according to given condition. x square plus x plus 2 the whole square is equal to 244. Now let us convert this equation to the standard form. So here you can see that this is of type a plus b the whole square. You know the expansion formula. a square plus 2ab plus b square. So use that expansion formula here. And then you are going to get, see this x square as it is. Now we are writing expansion of this. a square means first term square. So x square. 2 into x into 2. 2 to the 4x here. Okay. Then the b square means second term square. So 2 square is 4 and is equal to 244 as it is. You can see the expansion formula also is given. In place of a you have x and in place of b you have 2. So simply you can write down here. See x square plus 2 into x into 2 that is 4x. And b square means 2 square that is 4. Now see here you can see x square plus x square they are like terms. You can add them up to 2x square. So what you will write down 2x square plus 4x plus 4. At the same time this 244 is shifted to LHS. We want all the terms on LHS and we are going to write equal to 0 on RHS. Now here plus 4 and minus 244 they are having opposite signs so we are going to subtract it. And we are going to give the sign of bigger number. So the equation we got in the form 2x square plus 4x plus 240 is equal to 0. But don't start factorizing it here. What you can observe is you can still make it simpler. You can divide it by 2 everywhere and then the equation is going to become simple. So we can divide it by 2 and we will get the easy equation as x square plus 2x minus 120 is equal to 0. How we got it? Dividing all the terms or both the sides by 2. Now think of factorization. Here minus sign is there. That means you are going to think of subtraction. Two numbers whose multiplication is 120 and difference is 2. And in that also the bigger number is positive. I told you that for bigger number consider middle term sign. So 120 we can see it as 12 into 10. 12 10s are 120. And the difference is 2 here. So the numbers are what? Plus 12 and minus 10. <coughs> so the middle term we will split as plus 12x minus 10x. Okay. So write down that. See it is split. Okay. Plus 12x minus 10x. Now the next step all of you are familiar with. We have to take out common. We have to group them and take out common. So here you will observe that x is common and inside the bracket you will get x plus 12. Here you will observe that minus sign is common and 10 is common. So you will write down minus 10 and inside the bracket again you will get x plus 12 because 10 into 12 is 120. We are taking out 10 out of it so 12 is going to remain inside the bracket. Okay so we are going to get this type of thing. Okay x is taken out common so inside the bracket x plus 12. And here minus 10 is taken out common. So signs are going to change. Both the terms are positive. X plus 12. Also I told that always these two brackets they are same. So when you take out this minus 10 common without thinking much write down the same bracket here. Because again in next step we are going to take X minus 12 as common. And then another bracket we will get as X minus 10. So factors are found out. X plus 12 and x minus 10. Then next thing is either or. That is either x plus 12 is equal to 0 or x minus 10 is equal to 0. And from that we will get x is equal to minus 12 or x is equal to plus 10. Again two answers we got. Again think of the given condition. What word they have used is even natural numbers. So natural numbers cannot be negative. So this answer is not acceptable. X cannot be equal to minus 12 because natural number is not negative. So write down that justification to 
discard your answer that this is not possible and therefore the required numbers are 10 and 12 okay so you need to write down justification why you are not writing this particular number okay and this is acceptable so the first number is 10 and the next number is 12 so the final answer is what the required numbers are 10 and 12 so these two questions we have discussed here i'm going to discuss each and every word problem from the textbook so that it will help you to understand the things better so remaining word problems we will see in the next lecture so today we are stopping here children till that stay home stay safe take care of yourself thank you students